Media, it's all around us. It informs us, it entertains us, it inspires us. But does it always work? Evidence is growing that negativity is driving people away from traditional channels. Even Ofcom have reported changes in the way people search for and consume news content. Alistair Cook from Spark Media thinks it is time for a change. There are groups of people who are discovering new ways to find inspiration in their lives. Instead of turning to society, they are turning to each other in what we call communities to meet life's challenges on their own terms. From health to finance to welfare, there are people solving existential problems through the medium of social or community enterprise. It is a movement that is well established, well documented, incredibly well supported and most importantly growing. The independent organisation Social Enterprise UK reported that social enterprise businesses account for 60 billion annual revenues, employ 2 million people and impact the lives of many, many more. If social enterprise is so big, why do we not hear more about it? Well, a key feature of media is propaganda. The more impact a channel has, the more it is targeted. And when you have heavily centralised social systems, as we do in the UK, only the most powerful voices tend to be heard. Social enterprises generally don't have the marketing power to create the necessary inertia. So even where they have answers to everyday problems, their message is fragmented and their influence diluted. Our solution is to give greater share of voice to society's problem solvers and give millions of people the opportunity to change their lives for the better. Now, who wouldn't want to read news like that? However, the Spark team think that there is a much bigger picture. Mike Donovan explains. Yes, this is just the beginning. Spark Media intends to go national once we've built a customer base from the ground up. Spark Media is built on two fundamental principles. First, the power of human interaction and the ability we all have to inform and inspire, not only through our ideas, but our actions. Second, the power of technology to take these ideas and present them in ways that can be customized and prioritized. Once we have a secure customer base from the ground up in Britain, we will move into the national media arena based on our core values. We have a fantastic team with media experience, psychology and marketing experience that will inspire young media people for a generation to come in the principles of neutral reporting and posing the right question for dialogue, not conflict. So let's see how that looks in practice. Driven by a small editorial team and supported by cutting edge technology, we can effectively start creating a community of communities. Our media desk engages with our groups, generating new stories on their behalf and sharing them with like-minded audiences. Next, our, our membership pages where groups and individuals control their settings, share content and interact with one another. We then offer a commercial area where audiences can trade, advertise and promote their products or services. And finally, and this is the key to expansion, our publishing activities that will take the best of our content and amplify messages to external mainstream audiences. Income is important for any business. Alistair describes the Spark revenue model. First, we should recognise that the community pound is very strong. For example, a pack of farm sausages is probably double a supermarket's yet to an informed audience, it still provides value for money. So educating people will bring both demand and buying power. At the core of our revenue model, there are three main groups. These groups have intersecting needs. Our social or community groups not only provide thought leadership, but they also bring existing followers. They're interested in broadcasting their message to recruit new followers and supporters. Despite having a story to tell, they are unlikely to have a media team and will value recurring exposure for minimal effort. We propose to charge a monthly fee of around £100, although we anticipate further revenues by hiring out our media resources for bespoke projects. Individuals will bring an open mind, they will share opinions and of course they have buying power. 
They will be stimulated by quality content and motivated to consume thoughts and ideas both from the groups and from one another. We propose a monthly fee of £10. Membership is not essential, but it will open up other benefits such as peer-to-peer -peer discounts, personalised information flows and opportunity to get involved. And then we have commercial partners and sponsors. As the demands of ESG and social responsibility gather pace, investment into community-based marketing is coming from organisations across all business sectors. We estimate around £2,500 per sponsor. By carefully curating the information flow generated by these three groups, we can create a proactive but broadly self-contained environment worth investing in. Mike explains what this means for Spark's financial performance. Let's look at a five-year model and the return on investment that investors are likely to achieve based on the initial capital investment of 250000 with SEIS tax advantages. Our expenditure is largely absorbed by staffing costs, but there are some capital outlays and production costs required in startup. The investment will give us the ability to acquire the necessary production resources and keep the project moving as we attract our following and move towards critical mass. Our revenue is based on the combined activity of our three key segments, and we see the essential milestone of 16,000 followers as our first key point. What's really important here is that we provide investors with several exit points. We plan to achieve critical mass within about two years, building from the ground up. At that point, we will refinance for the next stage of growth, giving our early investors the opportunity to exit. So that is our initial funding objectives, to invite investors to participate in a media initiative that really will build from the ground up to have an opportunity to realize their investment in and around 24 months and further opportunity to invest as we go national and inspire the next generation of media people. Thanks for watching this presentation. If you would like to see a copy of our pitch deck or ask questions about investing in the project, just get in touch. We'd love to talk to you.